How do you clean your apples before you eat them? A rinse under the faucet? A brisk wipe with your sleeve? Whatever the method, chances are you're doing it wrong, according to a new study. Let us understand the best way to wash apples, according to science. Welcome. Food is a cause and a cure. For factual nutrition information, please subscribe to our channel. Whether you pick them yourself at a local orchard or just bought them at the supermarket, all the different types of apples are the ultimate fall treat. Even if your apples look spotless and glossy, there may be dirt, bacteria, or pesticides lurking on the skin, but you can stop grime in its tracks by learning how to wash apples. Finding the most effective ways to clean apples is essential for ensuring your apples are safe to eat. Keep in mind that even organic apples may use organic pesticides, so you'll want to make sure you're cleaning your organic apples just like you would your conventionally grown produce. You can brush off any visible dirt before you store apples, but it doesn't make sense to really wash them until you're ready to eat or cook with them. Cleaning apples with water can actually make them rot and decay faster, so store them as is until you're ready to take a bite or use them in apple recipes. Ready to wash your apples? Here's how. Don't use soap or antiseptics for cleaning apples. Both the FDA and the USDA warn about using soap on your produce. Even with a good rinse afterward, some of the soap residues will be absorbed by your apples, and most soaps feature chemicals that aren't safe to eat. Soak your apples in a baking soda solution. A 2017 study in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry found that the best method for cleaning apples required soaking them for 15 minutes in a solution of a teaspoon of baking soda and two cups of water followed by a thorough rinse with water. Try cleaning apples with vinegar. Mix a third cup of vinegar with a cup of water and spray or wipe the solution on your apples. Rinse your apples thoroughly afterward to make sure you lose that vinegar taste in your recipes. Researchers found that this method removed 98% of bacteria from apples. Tap water. Tap water is not that effective when compared to baking soda and baking soda turns out to be very effective. The baking soda was effective because it has a high pH level that most pesticides are not stable in. Try a brush. A vegetable brush and tap water can help remove a lot of the bacteria and dirt from an apple, and a brush is more effective than just tap water alone. Think twice about the fancy commercial produce washes. Research by the Institute of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences at Tennessee State University found that prepackaged produce washes aren't as effective as vinegar in removing bacteria from your fruit and they're much more expensive than either the baking soda or the vinegar options. Peel your apples. Most of the pesticides and other contaminants remain on the peel, so simply removing the apple peel will remove the vast majority of the issue. Remember that you'll still need to rinse the apples thoroughly before you peel, or your peeler could contaminate the apple's flesh with some of the dirt from the peel. Of course, you'll also lose some of the vitamins and minerals that are in the peel, so it may be better to try one of the other methods for cleaning apples. Visit our website for more nutritional information. You can also connect with registered dietitians, nutrition coaches, personal trainers, and yoga instructors through our website. Thanks for watching. We hope this information is useful to everyone. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more nutritional videos. And don't forget to